it's turbo time. Welcome back to another video. So a brand new update just came out and I'm about to hook you guys up with 10 solid best class setups that you guys need to be running after this new update. Before I go over all of my class setups, I just want to clarify that a lot of these class setups are based off of me being a solo player as well as me trying to be as stealthy as possible. I'd like to stay undetected and play as stealth as possible and I play passive aggressive. So that's why these class setups are going to be set up the way they are but nonetheless regardless even if you play with friends or if you're by yourself these class setups are designed to give you the best mobility the highest chances of getting more kills and less deaths as well as a play style based on flanking and being passive aggressive all right because that's my type of play style that's how i like to play all right so getting into it i'm going to start off with my favorite gun in the game i get asked this question all the time turbo man what is your favorite gun in the game and that is going to be the growl 556 so let's start off with the muzzle the muzzle is going to be a monolithic suppressor i like to stay stealthy undetected and this is actually going to increase our range by about 10 percent and it also keeps your weapon off of the enemy mini map as well as the compass whenever you're firing your weapon so this next attachment is going to be optional it kind of depends on what kind of map you're on so for example if i'm going to be playing on a really fast paced map like shoot house i'm definitely going to be running with the zlr drifter a08 and this is going to give us the most mobility as much as possible as you can see it increases our aim down side speed movement speed and recoil control the growl has almost no recoil at all as is but adding this drifter barrel actually makes it an even better weapon especially if you're the running gun type of player this is my favorite barrel on the gun and even if i'm playing on a bigger map i just close the gap between myself and the enemies anyway and try to keep my engagements from that close to medium range if you're playing on a much larger map i would definitely go with the tempest 26.4 inch archangel barrel this is definitely going to help you out and melt your enemies from long distance and i would definitely say that this is a good secondary option all right moving on we've got on the no stalk attachment further moving on with the theme of having more mobility and aim down side speed this is going to give us more movement speed and aim down side speed so next attachment is going to be the xrk void the second this one's going to give us that aim down side speed as well as that sprint to fire speed very essential for when you're deep in the enemy spawn and you're coming up against multiple enemies it's very important to be able to pull up your gun up faster to be able to give yourself a standing chance to win those gunfights so moving on we've got the 60 round magazine this is just personal preference i was previously going with the 50 rounds or you can go with the 60 rounds you know it really doesn't matter of course you are going to feel that reduction in your movement speed with the 60 rounds versus the 50 rounds so it's just really up to you and it depends on your play style you really can't go wrong with the growl it's such a great weapon all right so i'm going to cover this next portion once and this is actually a brand new weapon you unlock it at tier 15 and it's called the renetti so what i'm rocking on it is the mk3 burst mod this is going to give us that three round burst and it will increase your fire rate which makes it absolutely amazing you don't have to worry about having a really great trigger finger and i personally think that this attachment is really great and it makes it so much easier to melt your enemies next we got the trigger action lightweight trigger this one's going to give us even more fire rate to help us melt our enemies that much faster now i was looking at the match grade trigger but i felt like it wasn't as necessary because the con is hip fire accuracy and another pro of it is aiming stability which you know you don't really need because i am running akimbo's on this so you don't really need that aiming stability on it that's why i chose the lightweight trigger because it has the least amount of negatives to it next we've got on the 27 round mags no question you definitely need as much ammo as possible now it does have a con of aim down side speed and movement speed but you know what like i said we're running akimbo on this so you don't really need to worry about your aim down side speed or your movement speed it's a pistol whenever you have a pistol you do have the most mobility as much as possible in the game in general so i'm not really worried about the movement speed and then for the next attachment we've got the xrk speed grip this one's going to give us more aim down sight speed as well as sprint to fire speed now i did say i am running akimbos but i'm mostly using this just for the sprint to fire speed so that we can pull up our akimbo weapons much faster after a sprint to be able to get the jump on our enemies and fire our weapon that much faster next we've got got the akimbo perk so this is exactly what i was talking about you're able to hip fire both of your renettis at the same time the renetti is actually a really great weapon and a solid secondary choice and it's the secondary of my choice that i'm always going to run for my perks i'm only going to explain this once because they're pretty much the same as far as every other class setup goes unless i want to state that i have a certain type of mindset going into a game i definitely want to run eod because eod is going to reduce that damage that we take from claim more c4s etc 
explosives or just whatever and it's super important in order to stay alive as long as you possibly can and that's why i never run without eod unless i'm trying to play super aggressive and i don't care about dying to explosives then i'll probably run something else like quick fix or kill chain now for perk 2 I'm always running Ghost as well. Like I said, I'm a solo player. So when the enemy team calls in a UAV, I can't rely on my teammates to be able to take down those UAVs for me. So having Ghost on definitely helps keep me as stealthy as possible and alive as long as possible. Now, if I'm not worried about being seen on the radar, I'm definitely going to put on something like Restock because I love using my C4s and my Stim Shots. Whenever I'm playing super aggressive, this is the perk that I want to use. All right, so for perk three, I'm using Tracker. Again, I'm a flanker and I like to hunt the enemies down so being able to see their footprints definitely helps it make it easier to go ahead and track down my enemies all you got to do is literally follow the footsteps and it leads to the enemy and it's super helpful especially in areas where you're all alone and you're just seeing footsteps everywhere it helps put some direction in where you need to go and that's why I really like tracker now if I wasn't worried about being as stealthy as possible I would definitely run the shrapnel perk I love the shrapnel perk it allows you to spawn in with two extra equipment like two c4s two stim shots this is very helpful for those aggressive type of players and you have seen me run that every now and then in some of my videos or if i'm trying to regen my dead silence as much as possible i'm going to use the tune-up perk it's actually a very underrated perk and it really does help you earn your field upgrade that much faster so for my lethal i'm running the c4 as i said i love running around with my c4 stim shot i'm definitely always going to run stim shot i don't really use anything else moving on to the next Next class setup we got on the ram 7 for my muzzle i'm running again the monolithic suppressor for the barrel i'm going to be running the ftac 13.5 inch compact this is going to give us more aim down side speed as well as more movement speed to me mobility is super important especially when i'm running around the map because if you don't have this attachment on it's a very slow and sluggish weapon so that's why i feel like the ftac 13.5 inch compact is definitely needed so next we've got the xrk close quarter stock this one's going to give us more aim down side speed it's actually actually a shame that this gun doesn't come with the no stock attachment otherwise i would have put it on there but this one will give us just enough aim down sight speed to be able to pull up our weapon a lot faster and that's exactly what i'm looking for with this class setup next we've got in the rear stippled grip tape this one's pretty much the same thing as the xrk void it gives us more aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed now the ammunition this was actually buffed a couple months ago so with the fast fire rate of the ram 7 i definitely do recommend putting on the 50 round magazines on this so that that is my ram 7 class setup so next we've got on the mp5 man the mp5 is just absolutely beautiful man it's just great all around so for my barrel i'm using the monolithic integral suppressor this one's going to give us sound suppression and bullet velocity now again i want to stay as stealthy as possible that's why we need sound suppression now the bullet velocity is also a key feature about this attachment it's going to allow your weapon to fire your rounds a lot faster which is very important in melting your enemies and that's why i really like this attachment attachment right here next we've got the ftac collapsible stock so this one will give us more movement speed as well as aim down side speed next we've got on the rear stippled grip tape no need for explanation there for our ammunition we've got the 45 round magazine i feel like this is actually better than the 10 millimeter auto 30 round mags yes it does give you that damage and range pro but it actually was nerfed and it just isn't as viable as it was before so having those 45 round mags definitely will help you out because if you're trying to melt multiple enemies at a time it will give you less of a reason to have to reload your weapon and you won't really need to worry about that you can go on longer streaks get on chain kills and that's why i really like the 45 round mags the final attachment is the merc foregrip i feel like this is the absolute best attachment you can put to control that recoil so this attachment is basically just going to help the mp5 be a laser from distance as well as for those close range engagements it does give you a hip fire accuracy pro so it's also great for close range as well that's why i like the merc 4 grip all right moving on we've got the m4a1 a very popular weapon so i have different m4 setups and for different purposes but this is my all-around m4a1 class setup it gives us that sound suppression mobility range and aim down sight speed so that's why i really like this class setup right here so for the first attachment we're running that monolithic suppressor then for the barrel we're going to be using the stock m16 it's going to give us that damage range 
and also increase that bullet velocity so the bullets fire a lot faster from the weapon as well as give us some recoil control now there are cons of the aim down side speed and movement speed but that's no worries because we do have some attachments that will negate that as well moving on we've got the no stock so this is what's going to negate the barrel attachment it's going to give us that movement speed as well as aim down side speed so essentially it is negating whatever negatives that the barrel came with now it does have a con of recoil control but that's what the barrel is for because it also gives it that recoil control and you barely notice it anyway on the m4 next we've got on the rear stippled grip tape and for ammunition i've got on the 60 round magazine this is all personal preference you can run whatever you want to i would recommend either or you know you can't really go wrong with the m4 in general moving on we got the pp19 bison i feel like the bison is highly underrated and it's a weapon that a lot of players should start using because of its really high magazine count it's got a so high of a count you can go on streaks with it without really having to reload your weapon that's why i really like it and it's also a very versatile weapon as well you can beam people from long distance so for my first attachment i got on the monolithic suppressor again we're gonna stay stealthy as possible for my barrel i'm running the 8.7 inch polygonal barrel it's gonna give us more damage range as well as increasing that bullet velocity as you can see there's a theme here i'm looking for damage range as well as bullet velocity because that is definitely gonna help melt your enemies much quicker especially from distance now there is a con of aim down side speed but that's why we've got on the corvus skeleton stock this one's going to give us that aim walking movement speed so we can strafe left and right in those gunfights and it also does give us that aim down side speed now if i was playing on a map like shipment or shoot house i would definitely run the no stock attachment because a lot of your engagements are going to be super close quarter so having the no stock on it you're not really going to have to worry about the recoil control because the enemies are going to be like right in front of you so you shouldn't have to worry about controlling that recoil now Next, we've got on the sleight of hand perk for me personally this is a personal preference i feel like the bison reloads quite slow so that's why i've gone on the sleight of hand perk to help me reload faster then for our rear grip we've got on the stippled grip tape next we've got the kilo 141 one of my personal favorite weapons in the game for our barrel we're running the Singarms arms whisper this one's going to give us that sound suppression as well as bullet velocity that's why i like this attachment right here we don't need to run the monolithic suppressor because this attachment already gives us sound suppression depression and it also comes with a bonus of bullet velocity it does have a kind of aim down side speed but again we do have other attachments that will negate that such as the no stock attachment it's going to give us more movement speed and aim down side speed now we do have the rear stippled grip tape as well and the 60 round magazines on this and the great thing about the kilo is that you don't need sleight of hand it reloads fairly quickly and that's what i like about the kilo and then for the under barrel i'm running the merc foregrip again for the same exact reasons okay moving on we've got the mp seven i actually just made a video on this it's my previous video if you haven't seen it go ahead check it out now the mp7 i do have to say i think it's going to become one of the new meta in the game meaning most effective tactic available that you're going to see a lot of players be running because the pro players are starting to use the mp7 so that means that a lot more players are definitely going to be using this gun so for my attachments i got the monolithic suppressor fss recon is going to give us that damage range bullet velocity and recoil control this weapon literally literally has zero recoil especially from long distance and then for stock i'm running that no stock for more mobility rear grip i'm running that stippled grip tape and for our ammunition i'm running with the 60 round magazines next we have the ak-47 i actually did just make another video about this previously but anyways the ak-47 is a really tough weapon to figure out because it has that atrocious recoil control it's just a really slow and sluggish weapon you know in a game like modern warfare where the time to kill is really fast you have to be able to compete so i came up with this class setup right here first we've got on the monolithic suppressor then we've got the 8.1 inch compact barrel then we've got on the no stock attachment and this is the attachment i wanted to talk most about which is the 5.45 30 round magazines it's going to increase that fire rate and recoil control now this actually was buffed recently and this new buffed attachment actually makes the ak-47 a faster time to kill versus the m4 from the same exact range and that's why i highly recommend to put on this attachment on the ak-47 you cannot roll without it and it definitely makes the ak-47 super competitive next we've got on the merc foregrip this is going to greatly help us control that recoil control and also give us that hip fire accuracy that we need for those close quarter 
combat situations. All right, moving on to the Uzi. This is also one of my favorite SMGs to use that was recently buffed. But let's go over the attachments first. We've got on the monolithic suppressor. Then for our barrel, we got the FSS Carbine Pro. It's going to give us that damage range, bullet velocity, as well as recoil control. For stock, we've got in the no stock attachment. For rear grip, we're running with that stippled grip tape. Now, this is the main attachment that you want to use on your Uzi. It's the .41 AE 32 round magazine. This one's going to give us more damage as well as more range. So you're able to actually get a two shot kill with this weapon up to 20 meters. Then it's important to put on the stopping power rounds to give you that two shot kill and it makes it a competitive weapon versus the mp5 if you haven't tried it yet don't knock it till you try it trust me i've hand tested this in a private match and it definitely is a two shot kill for my last class setup this is the m13 another one of those weapons that infinity ward has decided to buff they didn't buff it recently but they did buff it over the months and i figured i would include this in one of my 10 best class setups because it's also a very underrated weapon it's got the fastest fire rate in the assault rifle category so from my barrel i'm running the tempest cyclone it's going to give us that sound suppression as well as that bullet velocity then for our stock again we're running the no stock attachment then for rear grip we've got on the stippled grip tape then for our ammunition we're running the 60 round magazine then lastly we've got the merc foregrip this is also going to help us with that recoil control as well as that hip fire accuracy for this close quarter combat so yeah guys this is my m13 class setup and my 10 best class setups that you could possibly use after the latest update make sure to leave a like on this video so i know this is the content that you want to see and subscribe if you're new around here consider joining turbo nation today make it official man we're almost at 80 5,000 subscribers i really appreciate all the support that you guys have been showing me lately and yeah i hope you guys stay safe and i'll see you guys in the next video man peace